Hi, I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org and today we are going to talk about acids and bases. We are working with Christian Kids Explore Chemistry by Bright Ideas Press and we are looking for uh, acids and bases throughout our home. So we opened up cupboards, medicine cabinets and all kinds of things to find where acids and bases are located in our homes. For example, we notice that there is ascorbic acid in vitamin C. So if you look on the edge to see what ingredients are in it, ascorbic acid is one of them. We looked at lots of tin cans uh, to see if there are any acids in them. This particular can of tomato sauce had citric acid in it. Okay, uh, this uh, uh, product is a face cleaning product and it has salicylic acid in it. It has, uh, so salicylic acid is the one uh, ingredient that is the most active in cleaning your face uh, to keep pimples off your face, for example. Okay, another one is a bubble bath and um, this bubble bath has citric acid. I'm not sure if all bubble bath does, but this particular one, smells like orange and so it's citrusy so maybe that's why it has um, citric acid in it. And then we have um, soft drinks. Soft drinks have uh, phosphoric acid in them and so these are all acids here with um, vinegar is a weak acid as well. You will find lots of other acids in your house. Now bases, this uh, over here are bases. Bases, if you look at all the different ingredients, if you ha have ammonium hydroxide, now ha ammonia is made of ammonium hydroxide, okay? And so many cleaning agents have that. Also sodium hydroxide is an oven cleaner, and also uh, baking soda is also a base, and so, so these are examples of bases. So look around your house, look in the grocery store, store for different um, acids and bases okay and then uh, I would like to show you an experiment with a simple acid and base and what happens when you combine an acid and a base now don't combine just any acid and any base okay if you if you combine ammonia with any acid uh, you it, it creates a toxic um, uh, smell which can kill you but the one that we're about to do right now which is vinegar and baking soda is a classic example of how uh, acids and bases react together. Take a look at this activity. Here we have four tablespoons of baking soda and we have 100 milliliters of vinegar. And what we are going to do is we are going to pour the vinegar into the baking soda. Take a look at what happens. Wow, look at that. Keep going. Whoa! <laughs> that was great! Now wasn't that fun? You can look on our YouTube channel, Susan C. Evans, to find another video called Make Your Own Volcano. And in that, we also used um, vinegar and baking soda and a couple of other ingredients to make it red and bubbly. And so you can use the same experiment of acids and bases to uh, have an explosion on a model volcano. Now, what is the difference between an acid and a base? Um, acids are, are chemical compounds that donate or give away a proton or a hydrogen ion in a reaction, whereas a base receives a proton or a hydrogen ion in a reaction. So when you see that reaction, uh, one of them is giving and one of them is receiving a proton and that is why you have uh, such a violent reaction whenever you have um, a acids and bases combining. I'm Susan Evans from SusanEvans.org. Thanks for watching our acids and bases.